Hello, Wildcats! Happy Friday! Well, today we're going to wrap up the week by reading a silly book. Now, last week, you might remember we read a book called "If You Give a Pig a Pancake." Well, today's story is kind of like that, but instead, it's called "If If You Take a Mouse to School." Yeah, I don't think you can really do that because a mouse is dirty. But what might happen if you take a mouse to school? Well, that is what today's story is about. Oops! So let's jump right into it. If you take a mouse to school, hmm, what would happen? He will ask you for your lunchbox. When you give him your lunchbox, he will want a sandwich. Do you think you will ever give your lunchbox to a mouse? I would probably keep it for myself. Ask you for a sandwich and a snack for later. Then he will need a notebook and some pencils. Well, looks like the mouse is ready to learn too. He will probably want to share your backpack too. Because that way you can take the mouse to wherever it needs to go. When you get to school, he will put his things in your locker and take a look around, like back here. Does it look like your classroom? He might do a little math, just like he is doing up here, and spell a word or two. He will even try a science experiment, although maybe making a big mess too. And if he does, then he will need to wash up. You will have to take him to the bathroom. Once he's nice and clean, what do you think the mouse is going to ask for? He will he will be ready for his lunch. On the way to the lunchroom, he will see some building blocks. He will build a little mouse house. For who? For himself. For itself. And make some furniture out of clay. Then he will need some books for his bookshelf. He will start by writing one of his own. So he will need a lot of paper. What a studious mouse we have! He will probably use up all your pencils. And when he is finished, he will want to read his book to you. While he is waiting, he will play. Oh, do we miss a page? We might have. Oh, we did. We miss a page. Then he will want to take it home, so he will put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. When the bell rings, he will run out to wait for the bus. While he is waiting, he will play a quick game of soccer. Then he will ask you to shoot a few baskets. And do a little skateboarding. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat his snack, so he'll ask you for your lunchbox. And chances are, if he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him. Back to school, and that's how it goes all over, starts, restarts all over again. Now, it's just a silly book. If you ever get asked by a mouse to take it to school, I would probably say definitely not. We don't want any mice in our school. So, it's just a silly story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you back here next week, Monday, for other books. Okay? All right. Have a great weekend. Bye.